Video check. Loud and clear. Safety car in this lap. Overtake available. Box now. Box box this lap. Box confirmed. Well done, Bay. You see the check and flow. Well done. After three years away, we're about to go racing once again in Japan. Welcome along to Suzuka in the rain and potentially the title deciding day. A track where 11 world titles have been achieved. Can the name Verstappen join them in the history books? There are various permutations as to how we can outscore Charles Leclerc by eight points and Sergio Perez by six points. 53 laps to come. I think we've got a proper fight on our hands. It could be a title decider, 53 laps to come, it's lights out and away we go and Verstappen crawling away from the start gets away but not as well as Charles Leclerc on the inside, Esteban Ocon getting him at squirrely as is Sebastian Vettel in the turn one we go! I got hit by Alonso, really bad. And Leclerc trying to fight this one but as they now head towards the S's it's Verstappen who's leading from Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez ahead of Carlos Sainz and then Esteban Ocon in fifth ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Gap behind 1.1, break by Sosa. Yeah, I crashed. I crashed, I crashed. I cannot see. I not see anything. Safe car, Max. Safe car deployed. How are conditions, Max? Uh, yeah, getting worse. Quite a lot more water, so I guess it's on the edge for inches. Understood. And how's the track? Very wet. This is obviously really difficult. Oh, red flag, Max. Red flag. The red flag, the race. So, with a safety car out, the race has been red flag. If we get to the end of lap 27, uh, then it's points for 13 for first down to one for ninth. And the title won't be decided here uh, because Max Verstappen couldn't uh, have that 112 point lead that he needs. race will resume at 4.15, ladies and gentlemen. In 10 minutes time, race will resume. We are expecting a rolling start. Rolling start. Bert Mylander will now take the cars from the pit lane where they have uh, been for some, some time now. And uh, back out onto the track. Just look at the excitement from the fans. Just seeing the cars out on track. Yeah, wonderful. And track conditions when you can? It's not too bad uh, for now. The track's really good. OK, copy. And they're getting a big round of applause uh, from the fans as uh, down the main straight come the cars. You can see just how wet it is on the right-hand side. How are conditions, Rex? Yeah, just a tiny river there, but overall, not too bad. OK, let us know what your thoughts are on the uh, alternative wet. Yeah, it's going to get close to Inter soon. Well, I don't understand. Like, now it should be the conditions where where we call race. Okay Max. So the safety car will enter the pits this lap and it will be a rolling start. Rolling start. Safety car will enter the pits rolling start procedure. Does that his mean, lights are off. Yeah. Does that mean we are gonna get going here? But yeah his lights are off. If his lights are off he's yeah. coming in. Thoughts on tires Max? Yeah, it will be soon enters, but the problem is the field is still bunched up. You know, when you pit now, it's a bit of a disaster, I think. Safety car, in pit lane, mode three. Well, as Max Verstappen then reaches the final corner, we'll see if anyone does come in uh, to the pit lane. But we're racing again here at Suzuka. The Japanese Grand Prix is go once more. Verstappen leads the way then down into turn one. Charles Leclerc follows on in second place. You could barely see Charles Leclerc as Max made his way into turn one. Then comes Perez, then comes Ocon, then comes Hamilton into the pits. Sebastian Vettel and Nicholas Latifi too have decided at the back of the field to take the gamble and go on to intermediate tyres. Mean
Ben Wilde, it's Verstappen, Leclerc, Perez, Ocon, Hamilton, Alonso, Russell, Ricardo, Sonoda and Mick Schumacher. Uh, the top 10 still, everyone on the wet weather tyres as you can see, apart from Vettel and Latifi. Mode 6, gap 1.1. It's the Leclerc at 3 seconds in front, Ocon behind at 1.6. Vettel and Latifi have pitted for Inters, we're monitoring. So Sebastian on Inter, faster in second and third sector. I think it will be into soon. Understood, Max. Box and pick and firm, Max. Box, pick and firm. So box now, box now. And box, Checo, box. Leader pits, second place pits. The crews can make a huge difference. Decent uh, stop there for Max Verstappen, the double stacking there for Checo, as out comes Charles Leclerc, and in comes Lewis Hamilton. OK, Max Vettel on the inter is purple, all sectors. The race currently being led by Fernando Alonso, who stayed out, and Daniel Ricciardo with Mick Schumacher third, and then Max Verstappen in fourth on the intermediate tyres. Wow, action packed in the pit lane there. Now they're all back out on the inters, back in the train again. That's Schumacher ahead, Max. Schumacher ahead. And down the main straight, Max Verstappen on the intermediate tyres, getting past uh, the Haas of Mick Schumacher. Verstappen is in the lead of this race. Leclerc third, that could be a bit of a frustration for Charles Leclerc, who's right now behind Mick Schumacher and has got some overtaking to do himself. Charles Leclerc gets past the Haas of uh, Mick Schumacher and up in the second place. So gap to Verstappen in front, 5.1. OK, Max, very roughly, we're looking at uh, 18 laps on this inter tyre. Look after it where you need to. Charles Leclerc is second, four and a half seconds behind. Then comes Mick Schumacher, then Sergio Perez. So this lap, Leclerc, three tenths quicker in sector one. Keep bringing the tyres in nicely. Gap behind, 4.2. Verstappen never led a lap here at Suzuka before today. Currently leads with less than half an hour to go from Charles Leclerc, then Sergio Perez. The first two are in a league of their own. They are over two seconds quicker than anybody else out there. Leclerc, middle sector, eight tenths slower this lap. As it stands at the moment, Max Verstappen won't get enough points to win the World Championship here, or won't get a, enough clear points ahead of Leclerc or Perez to win the World Championship here, but he'd sorely like another win. Expecting another 18 laps. Okay, gap behind, 5.8. You can afford to look after the tyres and the high-speed turns even more, Max, at this stage. I'm trying to take care of these tyres, 16 laps to go. Maximum 16 laps. Better, uh, it's better management, I think, in the first sector. Leclerc still two tenths down in that first sector. And are we getting into a situation where tyre changes might be necessary once again? Gap 8.8. How many positions we lose if we keep the box? So if we do a pit stop, we will drop five positions. Okay, gap 10 seconds. Could be another 15 laps, so look after your front. Gap, 13.5. And 10 laps to go. Better, 48, 1. The gap out in front seems to grow even bigger and has done nearly 14 seconds now. Verstappen ahead of Leclerc. Yeah, Max is over a second quicker than, than Charles Leclerc. Gap, 14.3. And as I've been saying, Verstappen will not be champion at this race if it stays the way it is currently. I get the feeling, looking at the lap times, that Sergio Perez, in about three or four laps, might be hot on the heels of Charles Leclerc. And compared to Perez, we are losing at turns one, two, and six. How many left to go? This lap, and then seven more. And gap to Perez behind, 1.6. Seven laps to go. Sergio Perez is under a second behind Charles Leclerc. Five more laps. Gap 21. So much going on 
but in the cockpit out in front for Max Verstappen, I'm sure all is serene and calm. He looks ahead and there's no one there. He looks behind and, and there's no one there either. His teammate is trying to get Charles Leclerc here. Leclerc goes wide. Perez for one moment thought, God, this overtake could be on here. Five laps to go. Can we not just have a few more laps, guys? I've been mean, waiting for this for so long, and this is just amazing racing. But this is a cracking end to this Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, we've waited a while, and it is certainly worth the wait. We're not going to box for the tyres. Uh, not at the moment. Three laps. Gap 24. Leclerc moves to the outside through 130R. Sergio Perez hot on his heels, further back on the exit of the spoon. Oh, the big snap for Charles coming out of the last corner there. As we are now onto the final lap of this race. Clock is down to zero. Max Verstappen is going through Dunlop curve at the moment on his way to yet another win. On the very last lap, could it possibly happen? You never know. Sergio Perez oh. is giving it everything, trying to get past Charles Leclerc. Goes down the inside. It's imperative for these two that contact is not made. Max, there seems to be some confusion over whether the race uh, is over. We do think it is, but just bring it home. Max Verstappen has taken the chequered flag to win the Japanese Grand Prix. Well done, mate. You won it. You see the chequered flag, well done. Uh, <laughs> nice race at the end, though. Luckily, we got the race. The fans uh, deserve that. Meanwhile, Leclerc goes across the rumble strip. Perez tries to get him on the outside of the final corner. Hey, what is he doing, mate? He came really unsafe. That was the check flag. Might have a good one. Max Verstappen came here wanting to win a world title. And he can't win the world title, but he can win another race. The 12th race win of the season for Max Verstappen. He's on the front of P3 for now, but it's been removed. And whilst Max Verstappen it runs and celebrates, and race control have noted Charles Leclerc for leaving the track and gaining an advantage. Noted the incident, uh, leaving the track, turn 16, 17. Yeah. Charles Leclerc has been given a five-second time penalty. It gives Verstappen a 113-point lead in the championship with only 112 points to go. Verstappen wins the title for the second year running. Max Verstappen, two-time world champion. Woo! It's been a pretty special year and I think yeah, it's something you really have to remind yourself of because these kind of years you don't have very often. Give it up for Max Verstappen and Red Bull. He is champion of the world in 2022.